Hey team, welcome to today's workout. It's the green level, entry level workout. So this one's good for everyone. Um, we're gonna run through the movements here with Grace um, today. So Grace is still uh, rehabbing through some through some knee and, and hip stuff. So it's perfect because we can show you, I suppose, the explanation of the full movement and then how you'd regress that if there are any issues around mobility there. Um, so I'm gonna talk through the tutorial now. If you wanna skip straight to the workout, check the description below for the link. Um, otherwise, stick around and have a, a look at this, this set of movements that we're doing today. Like I said, it's the beginner level workout. So 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, very, very simple. Um, you rest, you can pause this if you're watching the YouTube video if you need to stop and do something else or, or have a longer rest as well. Um, now the first movement that we're doing, you'll probably want some mats today, um, is the side lying leg raise. So with the leg raise today, this one's about the glute med. What I'm gonna do though is slightly different to how I have been doing them in the past. I'll get you your lower leg raise if you can bend that 90 degrees. So yep, there you go. So now you've got, it's, it's sort of like a, a, a clamshell stance on the, on the bottom leg, but the other leg is, is straight. And what she's gonna be doing is, hopefully you don't have to have your body raised, you can actually lay down if you'd like, but on the forearm there to hold yourself stable, basically raising your, your leg up to the side and then down. Um, now the value in this movement comes from if you wanna put a little bit of a hold in there, but just feel, feel it out, see how you go. The important bits are straight body, straight leg, the bottom leg is bent, um, and you should hopefully feel it in the side of the hip here, or the, the glute med, which is the important part. So that's the, the side lying leg raise. We'll be going through one side, taking a rest, doing the other side, taking a rest, and then the, the, the next movement after that is the step jack. So we have done that a few times. Do you recall this one, Grace? There we go. So it's a regression of a jumping jack. Um, and what we're gonna be doing is trying to, two things, trying to step nice and softly so that you don't make, make too much noise when your foot falls. And the second thing is standing up nice and straight. Now that includes your arms. So we're not, we're not kind of doing this. We're going standing nice and straight with the posture, straight arms and the hands are touching above the, the head there. So after step jacks, we're gonna do fire hydrants. Again, it's a, it's a unilateral movement. So there's one on each side. Um, so Grace is gonna pick a side and we'll stick with that for one whole interval. Um, the term comes from what a dog would do if it came across a fire hydrant. It's gonna raise its leg up, and what you wanna try and do is keep your hips as flat as possible. So picking a side there, Grace, whichever you'd like. Don't look at me for form. <laughs> <That's fine. laughs> Maybe do them as well. I, I can do them as well. I'm really, this is like okay. really hard. Yeah, and that's, that's, that's perfectly fine. That's perfectly adequate, because a lot of people are gonna be in a similar boat where they've not done this before. So what Grace is doing, is, it's, it's awesome, because she's keeping her hips down nice and flat, keeping her shoulders flat, and we're raising the leg. I'll go to my left side. We're raising the leg as high as you can, and down. So a lot of mobility in the hips here, and a lot of, uh, a lot of glute med on the side there to, to help um, raise it there. That is tough. Thanks, Nick, how you going? Um, after fire hydrants, um, you're gonna do one side, take a rest, do the second side, um, take a rest, and then we're going to do bicycle crunches. So bicycle crunches on your back, on the Ooh. mat. You okay? Mike. Oh, the thing, sorry. <clears throat> sorry. Um, with bicycle crunches, what we're gonna do is basically touch one knee, to one knee to one elbow, cross body. So, so contralaterally, there we go. And now the other leg is gonna straighten out so that your feet form a little bit of a bicycle motion. Oh, and, they're so hard. Yeah, they are. <laughs> oh my god. So, so with this one, again, you take a rest whenever you need to. Um, whether that's doing one or two or three reps, whatever you need to do, and then take a rest. But for each working period, <laughs> try and keep both of your both of your feet off the floor there. Um, so if you can, you're going to be leg out straight, leg out straight. You make them look so easy. <laughs> I'm here to set realistic expectations <laughs> and just... also make sure you're not pulling your neck. Yeah, correct. So, so what Grace was saying just now, I've don't, got a mic. don't interleave your fingers behind your head. <laughs> don't pull your neck forward. You want to have your fingertips of your temples there to avoid any, any neck strain or neck injuries. Cool. So after bicycle crunches, we're going to do toy soldiers. This is, this is one of DJ Mikey's favourites. One of my favourites because it's actually quite challenging. Um, do you remember these ones, Grace? Kind of. Kind of, yeah. Something like this. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start off by standing up straight, arms up above us. And without bending our elbows or our knees, we're gonna raise one leg and the opposite, opposite hand, try and touch the toe and try and stand up nice and straight. So slow is important with this one. 
<laughs> so, so <coughs> with this one, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. So if you can't, you just go like. You just reach for what you can do. Yep. Okay. Yep. So, so what Grace is saying there, just, just try like, and. Cannot. But the important thing is that you take it nice and slow and you, you try and, and hold that core nice and tight, not collapsing at the belly there. So try it. Good. Good. <laughs> this side's bad. This is high as my leg can go. Yeah, it's cool. Nice, <sighs> nice. Slower, <laughs> slower, Mike. Slow is hard. <laughs> slow what is... if you struggle with balance? What do you? You just take a deep breath. Yeah. So, so balance comes from a few different things. If you're struggling for balance, the first thing you probably want to do is uh, step off of the squishy mat. Yep. Stand on, stand on the hard yeah, floor. Okay. Squishy mat's going to make it a little bit harder to balance. Um, next thing you can do is look out in front of you. Look straight. Don't be looking around the room. Um, the next thing is uh, stop talking, Jeff. So <laughs> brace the core. Um, so having a braced core is going to stop your, your diaphragm from moving up and down. And if you're breathing as well, it makes this a little bit squishy, a little bit harder to, to, to just brace yourself. And, and, and then the other thing is, is, I suppose from that, it's just practice. Um, thinking about your leg as a, as a tree and you really just want to plant the foot into the, into the ground. Um, so think of, your, think of your leg as a tree trunk and think of your foot as a tripod. You've got three points of contact, the heel, big toe, little toe. So those things, plant them into the floor there. So it's just practice after that. Um, after the toy soldiers, we're doing Pennywise crunches. So this one is, is like what Grace mentioned before, it's gonna be mileage varying, depending on how sore you are, depending on your mobility. Um, the, the theory behind it, I'll stand over here, <coughs> is that we're gonna go from a steam engine, which is normally a, uh, a cross body movement, and we're gonna go to the same side, okay? So fingertips of the temples, I'd like you to raise one leg, Knee to elbow, down. There you go, and then knee to elbow. And now we're going out to the sides, we're going laterally. The reason we call them the Pennywise crunches, there's a bit of a Pennywise dance there, but we're gonna try and get the knee up as high as you can. Now, the thing about this one, try and stay upright. Okay, so don't do this. No, 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 so, so we're not doing this one, we're not doing that. Um, and I don't mind if your knee doesn't touch your, your elbow, but you, that's what you're trying to aim for, okay? So you're gonna to aim to try and get that knee, but if, if this is as high as you can get, please don't stress and just continue doing that because continued practice in that sort of motion, you feel it, right? Yeah. And that's what makes you better. You're gonna adapt and you're gonna get better at this later on down the track. So please try as much as you can with that one. Um, after Pennywise crunches, we're gonna go good mornings. The good mornings are a favorite here on FFP. Oh, my hammies. <laughs> it's a body weight dynamic movement which is going to stress the glutes and the hamstrings. So that's very important, glutes and hamstrings. You don't want to, uh, oh thank you so much Finn. Oh, oh. You want to make sure that your lower back is not feeling this at all. Um, Finns, I'll, uh, I'll thank you more after, after our workout here. So good morning. If you feel it in the lower back, I want you to stand up, shake it off and think more about hinging at the hips. So, so Grace's form here is, is, is fantastic, okay? She's hinging at the hips. She's got a neutral spine all the way from her hips to the top of her head here. And her legs, not necessarily 100% straight, don't need them to be 100% straight. We need them just to not be bending like a squat and not curling at the back because where you're feeling it right now, I can guarantee, Hi. hamstrings, hamstrings. And then on the way up, when you, when you, you change from going down to up, you want to squeeze the butt cheeks. You want to you want to initiate that hip thrust with your glutes. So think about all of those things as we're doing that. And then after good mornings, there's a little bit more of a cardio movement. It's sort of an inverted bicycle crunch, which is the the mountain climbers. Now you can choose to do them at this speed. You can choose them whatever, whatever speed you want. I wanted to finish the round with a bit of a uh, bit of a cardio movement if you want to add a bit more spice to it. My knee can't like Correct. jerk. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So. That's exactly right. What you want to be aiming for, like the end game, is, is bringing the knee all the way up to the chest level and tapping the toe on the top. So it's cool if you've got a mat like this, aim for the... Yeah, aim for a dot. For yeah, the dot. that's it. <laughs> so end game is something like this, where you've, you're only starting the motion when one leg is straight. But if you need to, we're going to learn the core control by stepping up, stepping up. So I'd like you to focus on the, the, the form and the control of it today, Grace. Yep.
Yeah, sweet. And they're the movements. So before our watches go to sleep, um, we're gonna start this workout in 20 seconds time, beginning with the side lying leg raises. So pop your watches in into mode, press start, and uh, pop down onto the mats there. So I'm gonna talk Grace through this one again, because <clears throat> Grace has some, some glute med requirements. So making sure that her form is really, really good in this one. Remember the bottom leg, we're gonna bend. Yeah. That's it, cool. That throws me off knowing where <laughs> I'm at, like if I'm straight Literally. or anything. <laughs> That's it. Okay, there we go, so 30 seconds worth. Good, so begin it off like this. Just raise, lower, raise, lower. Very important that the lowering, <clears throat> you see Grace isn't letting the leg flop to the floor. It's coming down in a real nice and controlled fashion. That's very, very important. Um, because the muscles that were working here, you'll feel them. They're in the side of the hip. Yo, Kendall, how you going? Welcome in. <clears throat> we're talking Grace through a beginner level workout, entry level. There's your rest, so you can choose to rest on the floor if you like, Grace. Um, she's gonna roll over okay. and do the other side. <clears throat> yep. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so now, it's literally just the other side here, and you can see it from another angle. Um, when we do these unilateral movements like this, you'll often find that sometimes you have one side that's better than the other. Um, take it as a learning experience, just, uh, just to make some notes on your body. Um, and this is sometimes used as a uh, identification for <clears throat> if, if you're doing squats and you've got a hip shift, um, or if you're doing deadlifts and you find that one glute is, isn't firing properly. Am I straight? I feel like I'm more crooked as hell. Um, it helps if you <laughs> don't look down at your legs. Yeah, it's a bit like quantum physics. If you look down to see if you're straight, you're not straight anymore because you're, you're looking down. So yeah, looking forward at the wall there, Grace, perfect. So just push your hips forward just a little bit. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I know. I like know. laying on it. Oh, laying on that? Sucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There yeah. we go, so now we've got step jacks. So we've got two activation motions. There's two, there's two motions to, to really get these, uh, these hips into gear. And then the step jacks puts that into active, uh, like, into, into a practical situation. Because obviously to step sideways, we're now gonna be using those, those glute meads. And at the same time, we're gonna add a little bit of arms there to get the blood pumping, so. Ooh. <clears throat> this is actually a good workout to do if you don't have shoes on. I didn't realize. Probably don't need shoes on today. So. Nope. Nope. <laughs> cool, so step. shoes as little as I can. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Cool. So yeah, the step jacks, nice and straight. So with this one, I remember the first day I did the step jacks as opposed to jumping jacks, and I focused a lot on having real straight arms touching at the top. I'm um, actually got some some lats doms um, when you really do work at reaching towards the ceiling there. Okay, fire hydrants left. Um, you remember these ones were on the knees, hands and knees. So I'll join in with this one as well. Oh. So one, do you go alternate sides or no, we do a just, full we'll just side. do the full, yeah. full, full set on one side. Yeah. So left hand side first. We're gonna raise that leg out to the side and then down. So maintain the 90 degree bend in the leg. But again, we're trying to keep our hips flat. So Really good cue for this is to pretend there's a bucket of water on your back and you're not gonna rotate so that the bucket of water falls over. You're gonna keep that bucket of water up on the uh, up on your back. They've been tearing up that carpet on Morty. Oh, really? In the front one. Uh. I thought they were chewing on the shoes. They're just digging they're just around with the carpet. Into the <laughs> <laughs> Silly kitties. <clears throat> Right, other side now. So three sets of these these uh, fire hydrants. You actually start to feel rounds? three rounds. Woo. Yeah, thirty minutes. <clears throat> okay, let's go. Three, two, one. So this first round is just the practice. It's it's working through for your for yourself the movements, and then the second round we'll add a little bit of a hold to each of these. Which side's better for you? Left. Left? This has a wrist as well. Ah, so you can actually pop onto your knuckles if you want to. Grace just mentioned the wrists. 
I've got a mic. Okay, yes. <laughs> Um, so if you do have wrist issues when you're in these positions, um, sometimes the wrist issues are caused by having your wrists like that, forward. You can sometimes spin them around. So the first thing I'd be doing is going to the sides and then going onto the knuckles if you can as well, just to straighten the wrist out. Okay, bicycle crunches. So take this at your own pace again. And you're just gonna put your fingertips to your temples. You're not, not clasping your neck, not moving your Moving your head around. Cool, nice, nice. And you're gonna do as many reps as you can. And if you need to take yeah. a rest, take a break. <laughs> oh my God, my core. <laughs> the core, it's good, it's good core. There we go. So the important bits are keeping one shoulder blade down and keeping both feet off of the floor. <laughs> Even that leg that's going out straight, it's not gonna flop to the floor. Nice. So going slow with that is just as tough as going fast. Yeah. You can turn that into a cardio thing, which I, I can show in uh, a couple of the later rounds here. Um, or you can go nice and slow and just have all that activation, all that core control. Toy soldiers, speaking of core control. <clears throat> so like Grace mentioned, balance might be an issue. You might want to step off of the mat for this one. Um, or if you want an extra challenge, you can stay on your mat. But you want to go nice and slow. Mikey's going to be our, our speed judge on these ones. So opposite hand, the toe. Cool. <laughs> straight leg as much as you can. Straight arm as much as you can. If you can't touch the toe, don't stress. I bent that bottom leg. Finish your rep. <laughs> nice. Uh, one round? <laughs> uh, Pennywise crunches. So much more. A lot of cool. A lot of cool work, yes. <clears throat> Core's pretty important for everything, for all the things. Okay, let's go. Welcome in, by the way, to Gatsby, Alphabeto, Thurs, Ms. Bones, and Barbecue Burrito. Nice. So with these ones, take it nice and slow. Oh, fuck. Goth, you mentioned that your, uh, your hip's making some noises with these ones. Hey, Nate. Is that like an easier, I can't. You just, just, just raise. That's my hip. Step to the side. There, that's it. That's all you need to do. That's all you need to do, Grace. Yep, yep. It's some work. It's some work. Hi, Nate. Hey, Nate. Hey, <laughs> I can't, I can just see the colors. I'm like, pretty sure that's me. <laughs> <clears throat> so obviously you're gonna take it to your level. Um, yes, Grace, we can, we can do little raises, little raises, because the hips need a lot of work. Otherwise you're gonna see how high you can get those knees up. All right, good mornings. Grace is very, very good at these ones. <clears throat> hammies, hammies good, glutes good. Mm. All right, so you want them, your feet about shoulder width apart. Doesn't really change too much. Um, but the important part of this is the hinge in the hip and the neutral spine, okay? So, so what, I'll do the wrong ones. We're not curving the back, you don't want to do that. Hinge of the hips, make a number seven. Yes. <clears throat> yeah, that's a, that's a good point, um, Martha Stewart. If, you, if your body and joints make noises, but there's no pain associated with it, um, that's usually okay to move on. Um, my, my right hip makes like a clunking when I do that. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Ankle, ankles and hips make a bit of a clunking noise. Now, <clears throat> but as long as it doesn't hurt. If it does hurt, obviously stop, please. This is a message for everyone. If things hurt, you wanna stop and you wanna go see a medical professional um, because pain isn't normal. Pain is usually a sign that something is wrong there. Anyone that says no pain, no gain, yeah, don't, no, don't no, listen no. to them. <laughs> no, I, th I think there's there's some it, there's some interpretation required for that. Yeah. When people say yeah, no pain, no gain. Not too literally. Mm -hmm. Okay, so <clears throat> if you want to regress as well, um, Grace, you can actually go onto an elevated surface. So this is a little bit like uh, push-ups. So Grace is doing fantastic at this right now. So I'm just going to leave her. She's, she's going to continue going on. So if you want to do it like this, 100%. But if you do have like a bench or a tabletop, you can actually do your mountain climbers up against it like this, okay? And what that does, 
that, that makes you not have to keep your, your toes as close to your body as if you're in a plank position. Otherwise, you'd be scraping your toes on the floor. Oh, yes. <clears throat> there we go. So it's a minute rest. <laughs> <laughs> Most days your body sounds like you're, you're smuggling popcorn. <laughs> crunch, crunch, crunch. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, oh, that's what happens, right? We're all, we're all getting older. We're all, um... Oh, man, yesterday I, I, uh, I sat my desk down, and apart from the times I was helping you out in your room there, Grace, I sat for most of the day. Mm -hmm. um, and to be honest, I think that made my knee a little worse, because every time I'd stand up, it'd be like... Stiff. Oh, Yeah. yeah. That's how people live their lives. Yeah. Sitting all day, every day. I, I didn't want to do the tape t again today. I kind of wanted to just move. How's it feeling? Yeah, just, it, it's good. I can... Yeah. Like, I, I didn't can, notice you were yeah. mobile. Yeah, so it's, it's better now. Well, not, not better, but it's better than yesterday. Yeah. Side lying leg raises. So, Grace, yep, you've got your knee bent. But it's like right way far back. No. It, it isn't... It isn't way far back, but yeah, you probably do want to squeeze. No, that's fine. That's fine. That's good. You got it. Yeah. <clears throat> so you can choose as well. People will sometimes ask me, do I point my toe? Do I have my toe straight? In this movement in particular, don't, don't care. It doesn't matter. Um, what you do want to be feeling. So hopefully, sometimes if you've got enough balance, you can actually pop your own hand just here, but just there. You should feel that. The mead activating. So there, there's, a, there's a couple of muscles just in here. You feel that turning on as you raise the leg there. Oh, go on. I can definitely feel it when I stop. It's like, yeah. <laughs> let me rest. <laughs> yeah. We're getting old. We're getting old, Martha Stewart. Yeah. Shake, shake your fist at the cloud. <clears throat> so with this one again, um, go the pace that you were going at now. And mm -hmm. then for the last round, Grace, we'll add some holes into it. Just to add a little bit of, little bit of spice. Because the first round, like I said, warming up. Getting mobile. That's straight. That's pretty good. Is it? Yeah. Feels wrong. Nah, I nah, feel it's like not a pretzel. Bad. <laughs> it's fine. It's good. So you want to hold like up? Yeah, yeah, and then down. So you hold it for about two seconds, and then take about two seconds to come down. There, there. Cool, cool. So that's a way that you um you progress, you progress your your leg raises is to actually raise and hold and then you slow down that, that descent. A lot of body weight movements, you can do that. Um, you remember those push-ups that we do? We slow them down, we do the, do the flaming monocle push-ups. Um, if you slow down the descent, you actually add a lot more effort to it, time under tension. Okay. And it's, it's the often, often overlooked progression, especially for people that do have weight. It is easy enough to go pick up a weight to make things harder, but you can also change the timings on things. Okay, step jacks. <clears throat> so now that we're, we're moving, we're mobile, the hips are active, probably speed these up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you can step further if you like to make these a little bit more so tricky. Fast. What's that? Can't fling my arms that quick. <laughs> Yeah. Flapping the arms is actually it's a lot, lot of work. work. A lot of work, yeah. Yeah, feeling it in my shoulders. <laughs> so just, just going up and then yeah. down. Yeah, it's actually yeah. fast. Like as soon as you yeah. try to do it fast, it's like. Yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just identifying those things you wouldn't normally do throughout the day. I don't know why, but this just made me want to play Overwatch for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I just imagine Junkrat doing it. <laughs> I can fly like you, rocket lady. <laughs> All right, fire hydrants. So down on the floor here. So this is another one, like the leg raises, where to, to increase the intensity, I'll get you to hold it for a second, Grace. Rude. Yeah, pop your hands out to the sides if you want. There you go. Cool. Yeah. It's okay. You good? Your wrists. Just on this side, because it's pushing so much yeah, pressure okay. on that one. Did you want to, um, cause what another way thing you can do, pop down onto your forearms. So for this next one. It's all right on the left side. It's all right? Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah, this, like, it's just that one. Yeah, one thing you can do if you're watching at home, um, if you've got a coffee table, you've got something, you actually pop onto your forearms and then raise like that. So if the wrists are causing a bit of an issue, his coffee table's that low. Well, I don't have a coffee table here. <laughs> I know. But... <laughs> I'm kidding. 
Is that a coffee table coffee. for ants? <laughs> I just went there. <laughs> there we go. Okay, sweet. Other side now, Grace. That was the other side. No, no. So you got fire hydrants now. What? You were just resting, right? What? No, I was just doing lesser. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wait. <clears throat> fire hydrants right now. The other side. Oh, yeah. okay, okay, great. <laughs> so, so we're going to do the fire hydrants? I don't think I rested, I think I searched. I think you're doing straight, straight to it, correct. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. So you get a big longer rest now. <laughs> there you go. So now we're resting. Ah. <clears throat> and we've got the bicycle crunches next. So again, bicycle crunches. Is there crunches. any regression? Or you just do like two rests? Just do two and, and then rest, yeah, yeah. Um, so the, uh, the the regression for bicycle crunches is you don't necessarily have to touch your elbow to the knee. You can just do the legs, right? So so what Grace is asking, is there a regression? There you go. Yep, there you go. It's just that part that yep. fucking sucks. Yep. So here's the regression for the bicycle crunches. Or if you want to do the full, I'm going to touch my elbow to my knee. You can speed them up if you like. Oh, even that's so. No? Nah. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> I'm so weak today. <laughs> my core, what did we do? Why is my core so sore? Don't know. That Chinese food. I did lifting with Kayla on Sunday. Yeah. Maybe Dom's. Potentially, Maybe potentially. That's perfect. Bicycle, <sighs> bicycle, bicycle. <laughs> All right, toy soldiers now. Can I lay in like dead bugs? <clears throat> you can, yeah, if you want. Because then I can actually do it. Yep. Like, Yep, so, so you do like the, there you go, cool. So what Grace is doing is what I'd sometimes call like a unilateral jackknife. This one, there you go. Or you can do the standing ones. But go nice and slow, Grace, slow it down, slow it down. I have trouble keeping my lower leg straight with this one. That's good. The That's, one that's standing yeah, or? Yeah. Uh, yeah, because see, watch, when I try and reach for it, I it's go like that. because you're going that. for a I'm going squat. for a full squat, yeah. <laughs> you're going for a single leg squat. All right, Pennywise crunches. <clears throat> what I would do, Grace, to be honest, if I'm thinking about a regression for that one now, <sighs> yep. is probably not having the hands, because you'll, you'll try and reach it. Yeah. So you could probably just raise to the side. Just a standing side, <laughs> side yeah. leg raise. I think it's the arms that throw me off, because you're right, I'm going like. You're trying to kneel yeah. down towards it, yeah, yeah. So Grace is just going to do standing, side leg raise. Oh, God. <laughs> oh did you hear my hips? It goes clonk. All right, clonk. It's hurting my knee. Your knee hurts? So you don't have to go twisting it. Ah, twisting? Yeah, like okay. that and putting pressure on it. Yeah, okay. That works, like having this. the support as well. Yeah. Mm, mm. Uh, good mornings. Now this is definitely a, a good good rehab movement for a lot of things, to be fair. Glutes. <coughs> We're over halfway team as well, by the way. One more round. One more round. Pretty important to have repetition um, in these sorts of things. It's, it's very rare that I write a workout that has 78 different, different things just in a string. How you going, Mr. Sturtz? Is that pot? Is that is that talking pot guy from Elden Ring? Yeah, it's a global. Ah, pot friend. Pot friend. <laughs> How are you? So these good mornings, we're hinging at the hips. We're having a nice, tight, strong core. If you haven't seen the the core control video that I've chucked up on the socials, we do a little bit of a chat about how you brace the core, much like a like a can. Because if you don't have that core bracing, you tend to crumple under load. Um, so that's very important for these sorts of movements. Hinging movements, squatting movements, even benching movements. Pushes, pulls, everything. Okay. Um, next is the, uh, the mountain climbers. So this is going to finish off round number two. <clears throat> so again, if you want as well, Grace, you can do these on your forearms. 
um, does make the the, l the lower bit a little bit more difficult, but it'll take the pressure off your wrists. So, <clears throat> so there we go. Perfect. So I know sometimes when you see mountain climbers um, on, on the internet, sometimes you see people doing them super crazy fast, which is fine if that's their level, um, but definitely work on this. You don't want your butt too high up in the air. You want it just high enough that you're not gonna scrape your toes as you're lifting your, your knee towards your chest. And look at that hollow body posture that Grace has got with her shoulder blades. Um, that's kind of the posture you wanna be doing in a lot of planks and a lot of push-ups as well. So she's not letting her, not letting her spine sag in between the, the scapula like that. It's a nice, strong, hollow body. Um, and that's gonna help with serratus muscles. A lot of, a lot of um, stuff that's gonna hold you your scapula stable for shoulder rehab as well. So, cool. So a minute rest, you can spend it on the floor if you want. You can rest on the floor. But what we're gonna do now is add a little bit more of a hold to these ones. So it's gonna be a raise and a hold and then a lower down. So you may only do two or three reps in this if you want, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one more round. I wish I could convey the way that Grace is looking at me right now. Yeah. Grace, sus. Sus. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Still a bit more rest. So the longer rests are a bit of a reset between each round, but also signifies that you've only got 10 minutes left. Or under 10 minutes even. Mm. How's everyone feeling? Okay. Three, two, one. And then take about two, three seconds to come down. Look at that. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, nice, nice. So with these longer holds as well, just uh, just remember that you want to breathe through them. It does become a little bit, um, or sometimes you don't think about it and you just hold your breath while you're bracing. But that's good. Breathe into your belly, engage the muscles on the way down. Mm, mm. Nice, and finish your rep off because you've got enough time. There you go. Good, and the other side. <laughs> that's right, just to rest and brace full relaxes, nice. Hey, welcome in gigs. Thanks for the follow. So we're up to the third round of this workout. If you do want to check it out from the start, have a watch of the VOD. Um, in a couple of days time, this will go up onto YouTube as well. So you can, you can check it out there. So we're at the, uh, the leg raises. Now I have specifically asked Grace to, to put her lower leg into the clamshell 90 degrees. Um, but the focus is on the, the hip muscles here. The ones that are used to stabilize your body when you're walking and running and lifting. Um, it's become very, very... Uh, actually, the, the workout that I was going to do with you tomorrow may not do just because of your knee. Yeah. Um, but I have... If Dash, Dash, if you're still here, mate, the, uh, the hip workout that we did, um, <clears throat> because I'm going to push Dash through a, a 1RM squat test tomorrow. So we'll see how that goes. Because um, I want to I see how that hip activations actually work for your hip shift. Um, he's much like me, the right knee valgus. Right, right, right hip shift. Mm. Yeah, step jacks. <coughs> Here we go. So Are you last doing round. lifting after this? What's that? Are you doing more after this? Um, probably not, if you need a hand with filming things and things, stuff. Sorry, I got a tidy and stuff. Yeah. I do actually have to get some shopping done as well, so probably get You have bugs to eat. I do have bugs to eat, yeah, yeah. So if you're here, mm. he's got the wide seated, yes. Evil Mel's, how you going? Welcome in. Grace is finishing off her third round of, of step jacks in this third, third round of the workout. <clears throat> but yeah, the wide seated good mornings, they were, they were a great little addition, weren't they? I'd never done them before. They're fantastic. Okay, also the fire hydrants. These ones are very, very good for the, for the hips and stabilization. How you been, Evil Mel's? What you up to today? My knee's feeling heaps better, as you can see. I can bend it. Didn't even realize I was kneeling down just out of... When you do the mountain climbers, you're just like... Just go. It, yeah, it? yeah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. So I think it was just soft tissue damage, which I'm 100% thankful for. Um, like I said, I, the only time I really want to think about it, it's above the patella here. So, just the bottom of the quad got, got smashed on the floor. There we go, cool. 
Nice, nice. This is challenging. Don't, um, don't think that all of these movements are meant to be super easy. Um, a lot of them I put in there because they're things we should be working on. They're things we should actually be feeling, feeling like we, are, we can challenge ourselves with. And that's what gets you from the green to the blue once you start getting better at these things because um, they add to all sorts of movements later on. Mm. All right, seven more seconds. Just on that side. Yeah, when yeah. it's leaning all the way on it. It's the, the mouse wrist. Yeah. Yeah. Takes the wrist. Very relevant, team. That uh, occupation-specific um, pain and injury and repetitive stress injury. Have to see my boss. Ah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 see your boss. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, for gamers and things, uh, the wrist issues are very, very prevalent. <clears throat> but depending on, um, I did see an article um, on, so I hadn't, I hadn't really thought about it, but the different ways of holding your mouse, it's like claw grip versus palm grip and then things. Yeah. And whether you use your arm, like low DPI, more arm movement or higher DPI, more wrist movement. Yeah, and higher DPI people tended to have more injury because they're holding their arm like this and it's all, it's that's, all like... That's what I do. Yeah, yeah, it's very much... Um, yeah. Yeah, very much a, a, a tense, tense activity. <clears throat> You're getting some RSI pain, pain in your shoulder from, from crocheting. Oh Ooh. no. Oh no. Crochet. Is that the... Balls along the ground? This, that's croquet. Oh, that's crochet. Oh, crochet. Oh my god. Doi. Bicycle crutches. <laughs> my bad. There we go. So, this is the regression. This is perfectly adequate. It's, it's awesome. <laughs> Shut up. I haven't had anything in my brain, in my tummy today. <laughs> that's hilarious. That's great. I was like, wow, fancy pants playing croquet. Okay. Wow. Just yeah. tell us we're all broke. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, in your shoulder from crochet? Is it is it because of this, like like the oh, that yeah. kind of thing with the with the thread? <laughs> um, that's interesting, Mel. All mm. right, uh, toy soldiers. Grace is going to do the uh, <laughs> the the laying unilateral jackknives. Aren't these dead bugs? Nah, dead that's bugs dead. is when you start up down oh, your right. lower. Yep, yep. yep. In that bottom leg, boy. Yeah. Still bending it. <laughs> <laughs> My hips need to work, so you're going slow. Yeah. You're as slow as can. These are difficult. <laughs> yeah. Postural thing. So you're sitting in a certain way doing the stuff. Yeah. Can you ambidextrously crochet? That would be my question. Are you able to swap sides and make one side do the same as what the other side oh, was doing and then sit differently? Yeah. Yeah. That's, um, that's interesting. Okay, Pennywise crunches. So Grace is going to do supported lateral leg raises. I suppose that's what we call them. A lot of these names I tend to, tend to make up, <laughs> but they're, they're, they're correct in what we're doing. Nomenclature of, of exercises isn't a exact science. So you can go slow. You can start to speed it up. We're in the last round, so challenge yourself a little bit. Right there you go. No good. Yeah. No good. The right one sucks. Ah. Yeah, it's pain. Hey, gold. Nomenclature. That's how my uh, biology teacher used to say it. Nomenclature. How else are you meant to say it? What's that? How else are you meant to say it? Nomenclature. Oh. I don't know. It's like saying kilometer versus kilometer. Yeah. You don't say kilogram. <laughs> <laughs> good mornings, Grace. Good mornings. Good Grace. mornings. Oh, good morning. Good morning, <laughs> good morning Jeff. I think you're saying good morning. I'm like, yes. <laughs> yes. Weirdo. <laughs> I thought you were reiterating someone in chat saying good morning to Good me. morning. No. Okay. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> Weirdo. <laughs> That's how you said it until 30 seconds ago. Ah, nomenclature. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
should have my greens. My brain's uh, not brain, on yet. Yeah, brain greens. <laughs> Can you set up what you're crocheting higher so you're not leaning over it so much? Potentially, that, that's interesting because I don't know enough about what the posture would be and what the process is. Yeah. Um, it's a little bit like, like to, tattooing. Yeah, mm. yeah. For, for, for lack of a better term, it's it's sport specific injury, isn't it? It's a occupation specific injury. All right, here's the mountain climbers now. Imagine it'd be like that as well with sewing because you're bent over the machine, like. I feel like it'd be really difficult to be in a good position while you're yeah. sewing. So my my grandmother um, was a seamstress and she, she would make a lot of stuff. And so she had one of these um, uh, custom built desks, which had like, yeah. it, it was it was cool because it looked like a, a billionaire's, you know, smells like rich mahogany desk. <laughs> and then you press a button and, and the, there'd be like a trap door. Hey! Hey, well done team, well done. So that was, you see there, entry level, but by no means does that mean it's a, it's a throwaway workout, right Grace? Uh. <laughs> um, the reason I, I call that entry level is because a lot of these movements are the kinds of thing, things that I'd like people to, uh, to practice more. You're gonna notice more out of your day to day. It's like um, weird, weird little muscles and like, yeah, stuff that doesn't just, get worked by moving around Correct. your normal life. Correct. Um, and that's a lot of the stuff that, that um, often leads to injury in, in life because you don't have strong enough hips or you're, you're not firing your glutes when you're picking up the shopping off of the floor. Um, so, so a lot of these things, I, 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 I put them in here not because they're simple and they're easy and they're throwaway, it's because a lot of entry level people need this in order to progress further on and just to live a nice, nice health and safe life. Um, so. Thank you for joining me on that one. If you do like that and you do like um, um, more of that entry level stuff to get you into fitness and get your, get your fitness journey started, check out more of the greens. But from there, you can go to the blues and the purple levels are the advanced ones for, for people that really want to test themselves. So if you'd like to see us live and have a, have a, have a bit of a chat in chat, twitch.tv forward slash fit for purpose. Otherwise, we'll see you on more YouTube videos.